This is Damnation. It's like a western mixed with uh, something else. This game is a bit of a mixed bag, but it's an interesting title nonetheless. Let's take a look at Damnation. Selena! <laughs> Selena! Help me! Get me loose! I can fight! Kitten. It's about sacrifice. I don't know what it is, but something about this game reminds me of Machin X mixed with the Galaxy Rangers. Probably only five people understand what I just said, but it's just such a bizarre concept. I hear this is called steampunk. The most preposterous idea ever. It's the future, yet it's not. It's the past, the 1800s, but tomorrow in the future. You are a hard woman. Pain and death are hard. It's like traveling back in time in an El Camino instead of a DeLorean and finding out that the American Civil War was won by video game designers from Atlantis or Saturn or something. I don't know. You know, what's important here is that you're playing a cowboy from the future, but it's not. It's like the past, but the future mixed with the past. So it's like yesterday's tomorrow or tomorrow's next week. I don't know. I'm already confused. If you can let yourself go and get into this game, it does pack an adventure. But certain parts of the game seem needlessly sloppy. This game is interesting because I like it and I don't like it at the same time, so it's tough to describe. If you're looking for a smooth, action-packed shooter, something like Gears of War, this is really not exactly the game you're looking for. But if you're looking for a science fiction epic adventure that's wildly creative, focuses on the single-player campaign with a sizable storyline, and packs an enormous sense of scale, then give Damnation a try. You just have to let yourself go and get into the goofiness of the game. Everything from the outfits to the dialogue to the whole premise is as plausible as the Galaxy Rangers which is a 1980s science fiction cartoon show which was awesome. Your hard labor is the stuff of legend. And they run around in space and shoot laser pistols but they're cowboys and ride like robot horses. This game is pr uh, pretty similar. I haven't seen any robot horses but there are steam powered motorcycles which make even less sense than robot horses. I could actually go for a robot horse, that would be pretty cool. Alright, check it out. Here I'm using my um, Indian cowboy future spirit vision. And that's pretty cool. Parts of this game are really cool. The other, other parts, like where I was shooting the guy in the head and he was just standing there, are just ridiculous. And throw the whole thing off balance. I walked through a wall once or twice, the motorcycles land on their side and somehow just even themselves out. If you want to climb up on something that's six inches in front of you, you have to jump off a wall that's three feet behind you. When you kick people, it's as if they're on ice. Seriously, I'd rather have a robot horse. If you like the whole science fiction western concept, this game is worth a try. It seems to be a fairly sizable game, I'm about halfway through it, and it's much larger when you get into it than it appears to be at first. Have I told you about my bike collection in Terra Verde? The second level starts off pretty slow, but then it gets really cool. The whole game starts to come alive. I think that that's when you start to appreciate the nonsensical nature of the game and just the enormous scale of it. Like, you start each level with this huge flyover. And some of these areas are just immense and they're very creative. I like that. And after you start that level in the mines and fight your way out of the mines through a couple villages on the surface and then to the top of these huge towers and smokestacks, 
It's standing up there in the fresh air after you've completed that mission that the game just seems to make sense. Because even with its flaws, few games will really give you a single player campaign experience that actually makes it feel like you've gone somewhere. It's the sense of scale that they've done so well in Damnation. Because you can look down and see the cable cars that you used 20 or 30 minutes ago, and the dam that you crossed an hour ago, and the village that you started in. And it's just, it's a shame the gameplay doesn't quite live up to that feeling. But for science fiction fans, it's a pretty cool ride. As far as the gameplay goes, it plays very much like what you see on screen. It's a bit sloppy at times. To draw your gun, you squeeze the left trigger. This is the PlayStation 3 version we're watching, but this is also on 360 and PC. To fire, you use the right trigger. There's a couple different weapons. The machine gun is a steam-powered machine gun, of course. And there's shotguns and a railroad spike driver. Damnation has multiplayer, it has co-op gameplay. If you like what you see on screen and you like science fiction style western video games, give it a shot. Perhaps you'll find a game you enjoy, and if not, you can always jump off the top of the smokestacks and uh, hope for the best. feels like pulling the strings of a puppet. You were very brave, refusing the anesthetic. The operation wouldn't have gone as well without your knowledge of tissue necrosis. Thank you. 